let's begin what's up everybody welcome back to another video i got a question from cool great video could you do a video explaining what pure love is great question there let's start off by showing love and what it's equal to can you guess the blank three two one did you get the answer the answer is god did you get it right be honest well good if you did and if you guys did not do not worry about it you know it now better now than ever god is love flip them around love is god let's read first john 4 everyone who loves has been born of god and knows god whoever does not love does not know god because god is love this is how god shows his love among us he sent his one and only son into the world and that we might live through him god is love he is the creator of love so to answer your question of what is pure love there is only one kind of love out there which has to be pure of course if you guys know god then you'll know love which means you love your wife husband and everybody around you the love of god is now all of you you now spread real real love now and bear good fruit matthew 7 18 says a healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit nor a diseased tree bear good fruit you can't have both by doing wrong and saying you love god you need to get it embedded in you not just your brain you get to have one or the other you, when you are good healthy and perspective of a follower of christ you bear good fruit you do what's right and you love correctly same with the battery in retrospect first corinthians 13 love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it is not rude it is not self-seeking it is not easily anchored it keeps no recording of wrong so once you really do have god you don't no longer have to follow those rules to avoid being rude or angry don't try to not be angry and focus on that but focus on god and all those things will just go away and being patient and kind it tends to it, it all is in one you get the whole bundle pack you know when you have god in you you get it all you don't have to try to be that it's just you it specifically says no recording of wrong meaning do not bring up the past of somebody's wrongdoing to put them down and show them to the ground you have done wrongdoing yourself and you don't want anybody else to bring that up so we can't bring it on others our job is not to judge others on what their past is but it's their past but it's their present of where they are now that matters if you want people to lift you up lift others nothing should be coming up our mouths that's negative it's not tell somebody you did this you did that no if you want god to forgive your past let him forgive others god's forgiven you they forgive you but you can't seem to forgive them if you want them to forgive you of your past why can't you forgive them when you genuinely have christ living inside of you negativity no longer has any part of you it would never dare come out of your mouth but don't say god is the perfect one christians can sin you know we're not perfect we're just gonna keep living for christ but we get a little sinning here and there no yes god is very perfect but we cannot give ourselves excuses to continue on on what we're doing it's either you are or you aren't a father you may convince people that you're right on what you're talking about, but God isn't full. So love is an amazing thing, and we all want it. If you want the love of God in you forever so you can live like Christ, pray to him, read his word, worship him, live for him 24-7, ask, and you shall receive. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot to talk about love and all kinds of stuff. Um, this is just the, the things I wanted to go over. So once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, subscribe if you want more like this one. Push the bell button so you always get notified when I publish a new video, which videos do come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So I'll see you guys next time. Messenger up.